Gold Hivers, welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making a couple of cards using a few products, and they're going to be cute. So, we have the Favored Flowers Designer Series Papers. This is a celebration freebie. It does come 12 by 12, but of course, I cut my paper down to um, 4 by 6 and put them in these little baggies. So, they do come 12 by 12, and it's a pack um, of florals. Really cute. Then we're going to pair that with the Go To Greeting stamp set from the annual catalog. And this was a Million Dollar Achiever stamp set for Sandy Hartka really cute then we have the um very vanilla cards and envelope the note cards and envelopes so we're going to be making two cards one of them is going to be note card size and the other is going to be a standard size card but before we get into our cards we have to go over the buzz worthy business of the day so we have our sunshine and smiles paper pumpkin kit this kit you have until february 10th to subscribe to get it so you don't have much time left it is going to coordinate with the rain rain or shine suite of products in the um, new mini catalog and it has an add-on available as well of two dies for six dollars the item number is one six two 486 and I am hoping that it will still be available because these items are while supplies last Next up we have our join special during celebration if you would like to join stamp it up You have three options one and two are um, options that include a stamp and cut in a boss machine One is with a boho blue. The other is with the white machine the price for that kit is $129 plus tax. You will get to choose $175 worth of product, and it all ships for free. Your third option is if you do not want this machine, you just pay $99 plus tax, and you still get to choose $175 worth of product in your kit. That is $50 more product than the standard starter kit, okay? This is only while celebration is going on. You can always go to my blog and find all the latest news and the current host code is there on honeybeestampinhive.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our project. The first thing we're going to do is get our note card base. They already um, cut it and scored for you. You just fold it in half and burnish it with your bone folder. Let's make sure this is even there. We're going to burnish that down. Okay. And we are going to stamp on that. What do I want to stamp on this one? We're going to stamp Thinking of You. And we're going to stamp in Calypso Coral. Actually, we're not going to stamp yet. No, we're not. Let's just set this to the side real quick. I want to go ahead. I have a piece of the designer series paper is cut at three by three and some Calypso Coral. That is three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And we're just going to put those together. This is a very simple card, real simple, but striking. I love this dark background paper. Then when you pop it with a little bit of bright color, it, ooh, it really does stand out. Then we're just gonna layer this right onto our note card here. Let's see which direction we want this to go. Yep, I think I like it like this. And we're just going to make the borders even at the top and the two sides. Just like that. Now we can stamp. Okay, so let's just get our ink and our stamp. Make sure it's all inked up. And try not to rock it. And hopefully that is straight. And I rocked it. Oy. But that is, <laughs> that is the note card. And I have some brushed metallic adhesive back dots to go with this. And I am going to put one of these larger ones on here. Just put that right there for some embellishment. Okay. And let me show you, I have two others that I've done. This one is thank you, and this one is just a note. I used a different color of the brush metallic 
dots there. But super cute, right? I'm going to make a whole set of these with the sentiments from their stamp set that we're using. Next up, we have um, some, what is this? Mossy Meadow. This is four to, uh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we have some designer series paper here. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. We're gonna go ahead and lay this down. This is the same paper we just used, but we're gonna use the opposite side. I'm gonna set that right here in the middle of our car base, just like that. Then we have some basic white that is three and a half by four and three quarters with a three quarters of an inch um, designer series paper that we're going to pop at the bottom and cut down to size. This was just left over from this because I cut it at four by six. So, oh no, let me get this ink off my fingers before I put it on something. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Okay, so we have that there. We're gonna go ahead and get our scissors and trim that and add this to the inside of our card. Come on. Just gonna add this to the inside. Just like that. Okay, and then we have another piece of Mossy Metal that's three and one eighth by three and one eighth. And a different piece of the designer series paper that is three by three. And we're gonna layer these together. Oh my gosh, this paper is so pretty. I bought this paper for the other side, for the back side. But once I start cutting it up, the florals weren't that bad. Cause I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's gonna be too much floral but when you get it in smaller panels it's really not that bad and so we're just going to pop this on the front of our card like this and we want to try to get an even border for this one as well at the top and the two sides is that even is it straight okay so now we're gonna stamp happy birthday in Mossy Metal right onto our designer paper. I probably should have stamped before I glued all this down. Okay, so we got that. Let's try to get this straight. That is pretty. And then we're gonna pop another one of our brush metallic um, dots on here. Let's get this right here we'll put one there and let's put one here and another big one right down here well maybe right there yeah let's put it there just like that okay and that is our card done quick and easy right where's the other one we just did right here a little mess up. I can, um, if you have some ribbon, we can put ribbon across there. I don't have any Calypso coral, I don't think. But if you have some, this wouldn't be a good option because you can see straight through it, right? Oh, gosh. But if you have some ribbon, you can put ribbon right across that mistake. I keep picking up sheer ribbon. But you could put ribbon across there if you need to. Let's go ahead and add some of this Early Espresso Faux Suede Trim onto our card to cover up our little mistake here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just add a little piece of, um, what is this, this tearing, tearing tape hmm, to our ribbon. Just a little piece. Just like that. Burnish it on there really good. And then we're gonna make sure any 
of the glue is not on the front. And we're just going to place a little strip right here. Just like that. And to fancy it up, we'll add a couple of more of these um go ahead and add some of what are these called brush metallic dots oh my we'll just add two right there and that will be that our mistake is fixed so here's the two cards that we made today here are the other two samples Aren't they cute? Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.